Good morning and welcome to this, the 20th year of the India Today Conclave. The nature of warfare is changing at a faster pace than before. What was thought of till recently as the future of war is already the present. Drone warfare, artificial intelligence, cyber attacks are no longer in the realm of a distant future. They define the new revolution in military affairs. At a time when decades-old military strategy is being upturned by technology, our country is fortunate to have at its helm the Chief of the Indian Army Staff, General Manoj Pandey, who is the first engineer to hold this coveted post. He was commissioned into the Bombay Sappers in 1982 in an army dominated so far by generals from the infantry, the artillery, or the armed corps. General Pandey is a technologist par excellence, so he really is the right man at the right place at the right time. And in this session, we hope to learn from the Army Chief about his plans to transform the face of the Indian Army. Ladies and gentlemen at the India Today Conclave, join me in welcoming to this, the 20th year of our Conclave and the inaugural session, the Chief of the Indian Army Staff, General Manoj Pandey. Welcome, sir. I want to start by asking you about the lessons the Indian Army has learned from the Russia-Ukraine war, which is on currently. When you make your battle plans and your preparations, and you're seeing this massive war play out across the landmass of Russia and Ukraine, what are the key lessons you've learned from it? Thank you, Rahul. It's an honor and privilege for me to be talking to you at the India Today Conclave. To answer your question, I think there are very profound lessons that we can learn from the ongoing Russia-Ukraine conflict. And these lessons span across the strategic, operational, as well as tactical domain. But what is important is we need to see their relevance in our context. Let me list out some of the lessons which I feel uh, are extremely relevant to us. And the foremost, and the first and foremost is that it has reaffirmed the relevance of hard power and shown that where national interests are involved, countries would not hesitate to go to war. Secondly, land has, will continue to remain a decisive domain in warfare, especially in our case where we have contested land borders. The notion of victory will remain land-centric in our context. Thirdly, as we move forward, uh, as far as the strategic issues are concerned, the importance of reliance, the duration of war. There was a hypothesis that wars in the future will be short and swift, but that I think uh, is something uh, that is being questioned. So the importance of our being self-reliant, our being fully dependent on inherent supply chains is another lesson. From the operational uh, point of view, you have seen multi-domain operations. It is no longer only the contact or the kinetic warfare, but you also have warfare in the domains of cyber, space, EW, and even influence operations or information warfare or the battles of narratives. So these are some of the important lessons that we need to learn. As far as uh, tactical level issues are concerned, I think there are again uh, important lessons in terms of operations by small teams, the citizen warrior, wherein even an average citizen in this case has had an important role to play in the military operations. The relevance of various platforms, the larger platforms vis-a-vis -vis the smaller, the less uh, sort of costlier ones such as drones. Uh, the importance for a soldier to be multi-skilled. So these are some of the lessons at the tactical level Together, I think all of them have uh, great relevance in our context. In the Armenia-Azerbaijan conflict, we saw the use of drones changing the nature of war and the potential outcome. We've seen jet blacks flying over the water being used to dramatic effect, at least in war games. And we've seen cyber attacks, especially the capabilities that China is said to have built. And as a citizen, I wonder, General Pandey, how prepared is the armed forces for this, the new face of war, which is driven more by technology 
as much as it is by boots on the ground? That's a very relevant question. Modernization and technology infusion uh, has been central to our capability develop plan, uh, development plans. And our attempt has been to see as to how we can leverage the niche as well as disruptive technologies for better use uh, in warfare. And to that extent, we have taken a number of measures to modernize. Uh, of course, one of it is to make sure that we have the right balance of old and the new. We have niche technologies. How, how can we exploit their limitless potential? We have a very vibrant startup ecosystem in the country. We have young, bright minds who are prepared to come up. Our defense industry has stepped up. We have made an outreach to a number of uh, academic institutes, academia, to project our uh, issues. And they have come up with some very good solutions, which we are currently working on. What we are specifically also focusing is in the domain of artificial intelligence, quantum key distribution, uh, and the rest, blockchain. So as we go forward, our attempt is to leverage this potential that is available within the country and uh, see as to how best we can. Uh -huh.